Okay, so next new thing we're trying um, is uh, having a go at a cut of meat that often gets wasted but shouldn't. Um, so what I've already prepared is a pig's head. Um, so this is from a farm shop called Model Farm based uh, near Tewkesbury and uh, and I, I've, I've chosen to start buying meat from there because they are a cooperative, so they work with lots of local farmers, local to them. Um, all the animals are pasture-fed. Um, lots are organic, and um, if not, then they are free-range. Uh, no antibiotics, no funny business, basically. Um, and what I'm going to have a go at making is brawn. So basically what I'm going to do... Um, what I've already done is um, I've taken the ears off the pig's head. Um, I've added uh, a few uh, quartered onions. I've added a few carrots as well. And I'm just starting to fill up with water. And then what I'm going to do is boil for about three to three and a half hours. Um, I think the thing you've got to get around is it looks very real. But if we're going to eat meat, we need to know where the meat comes from and we need to be okay with the fact that an animal has died to give us food which i'm okay with because the animal that we um, have bought from has had a very good life it wouldn't be alive without the meat trade and i do value the food that we have so um if you can get around that then um uh, this cost around three pounds and there's absolutely tons of meat which we're going to see as we get a bit further into this video but um, first of all the job is to fill up with cold water and then boil for three to three and a half hours what I've already done is um, I've taken the ears off the pig's head um, I've added uh, a few uh, quartered onions I've added a few carrots as well and I'm just starting to fill up with water and then what I'm going to do is boil for about three to three and a half hours um, I think the thing you've got to get around is it looks very real but if we're going to eat meat we need to know where the meat comes from and we need to be okay with the fact that an animal has died to give us food which I'm okay with because the animal that we um, have bought from has had a very good life it wouldn't be alive without the meat trade and I do value the food that we have so um, if you can get around that then um, uh, this cost around three pounds and there's absolutely tons of meat which we're going to see as we get a bit further into this video but um, first of all the job is to fill up with cold water and then boil for three to three and a half hours. Okay. So we've been simmering for about three and a half hours, roughly. Um, it smells amazing, and um, the meat is very, very soft and just just breaking away. So uh, now uh, it's boiling hot water, so I need both hands. So I'm not going to be able to film this bit, but uh, I'm going to just check check it over. And if everything looks okay, I'm gonna. If everything looks okay, I'm gonna um, start to take out the stock, pop it in that pot there, and then I'm gonna reduce down two liters of the stock, and then I'm gonna save it because in the stock is a jelly-like substance that will have come out of the pig's head, and I'm gonna cool that overnight, and we're gonna use that to make the brawn to make the terrine. Okay, so it all seemed fairly successful. So next couple of jobs. First one is taking about two litres of the stock. I'm simmering that down until it reduces by about half. And the next job... So there we go. Um, I've stripped all the meat off the pig's head. There's, there's a lot. Um, I don't know if you can really see the scale, but yeah, there's a heck of a lot there. And I have to remind myself it's three pounds. 
um, and then on the left I've got the stop that I did use down you can see the line where it started and I reduced it down just by about half um, now next I'm just going to um, put it all together because and then allow it to cool together so this will set nice and hard or not not hard but like a jelly around this it will also help to seal and uh, that's some honey bacteria out because the meat will be underneath the jelly so that's the next step okay and there you have it so that actually um so this is a, a sort of typical bread tin um so it's probably actually at the scale of it so um yeah there's lo loads of meat there's packs full of meat and then i poured in the reduced stock and now i'm just going to leave it to set um i have put some cling film in first of all so it's a bit easier to get out and then fingers crossed it comes out okay nice